for that because not all of the audience are vets. There's, um, I, 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 I've sort of give talks on pain and behavior. And I, I went to one dog group and um, somebody came up to me afterwards and they said, after listening to your talk, I'm, I've got a dog that doesn't like to sit down in class. I'm gonna ask the owner to get his hips x-rayed. And she mm -hmm. sent me a copy of the x-ray afterwards. Basically, every time this dog was asked to sit, it was asked to dislocate its hips. They were so yeah. bad. And yeah. again, you know, it, the dog wasn't complaining. And I, I know this is one of the things that got picked up last week, but if anybody's, sort of either forgotten or didn't listen last week then you know one of the things i think is really important to appreciate is dogs work hard to fit in dogs do not create problems for the sake of creating problems they want the easy ticket which is to fit in with their human so if they're not fitting in with their human then there's a good reason for it and it's maybe because they don't understand what's required of them or that what's being asked of them is too much or they make the judgment that it's it would be easier if the human changed rather than 